Hello everybody and welcome back to France and we are on our quest to prove that we are better than Napoleon which is going to require Vienna, Berlin, and Moscow. Vienna is not going to be difficult as Hungary is now our first, uh, under us in a personal union so we'll just have to give this to, uh, to Hungary. In fact we can actually now that I think about it set that as a uh, one of our important provinces, so get a claim on that, Hungary. And then, um, you know, we'll want Moscow, and we'll want Berlin. We don't need to mark these ones yet. Okay. We are noticing that there's an opportunistic war potentially against Castile. They're fighting for the last little bit of Granada. They've tried to do this multiple times. It's already 130 years into the, into the game, but they haven't been able to siege Granada because Granada's had an ironclad alliance with the Ottomans and Tunis. So what we need is we need the Ottomans to get over here and start beating them up. Start beating them up. And if they just lose a little bit, even if they just lose a little bit of their manpower, I think we're going to be able to swoop in here. We're going to be able to swoop in and take them out. So, that's the plan. The only thing that's kind of concerning... The other cool thing is they have rebels up here, too. So we're kind of repositioning ourselves to take care of that. The annoying thing is... We're probably not going to be... We're not going to be able to get Danzig. It's just the way of it. We're not going to be able to get Danzig. No one's going to care if we take this, except for the fact that the Emperor's going to be mad at us. Eh. Eh. I just don't want Poland to eat all this. They have claims on it all. Yeah, you know what? We're, nope, we're going to hold. We're going to be diligent. We're going to hold our position. So we have these ready to siege this area down. Bring this in. It'd be nice to be able to get like a, a solid stack of troops down here. No, we're going to have to forfeit that position, I think. We're just going to have to forfeit that. We have these stacks, which will clean uh, easily clean up this area down here. Which is good. So really, it's just that... You know, there's 24,000 Spanish troops there. There's probably some Spanish troops down here, actually, that aren't going to be a big deal. We're going to be able to come up here, siege this down, and destroy this colony, and get through. It was nice. Why is Portugal... That's interesting, actually. Portugal's not even in the war against the Ottomans. It's literally just Aragon. It's literally just Aragon and Castile against the Ottomans. That doesn't seem... Yeah, something about that seems weird that Castile actually declared. I don't know if they're going to be able to get that... I think they might fail to get that province again. Is what I'm worried about for them. Which is a good thing for us. And then there's also England to deal with, which is annoying. Okay, so what do we ha what's our cause for war here? That's right, the cause for war is is all this land up here that belongs that rightfully belongs to us. That's right. That's good. So we'll be able to take all we have plenty of troops down here. Let's let's get these troops actually. Let's sneak them through here. Get them down into burn. I don't know if 44th. Oh, that was close. Rebels kind of walking over us there. And then what we're gonna want to do here is probably get. I don't know. Like we don't want the rebels sieging down our land, but it is what it is, I guess.
It'd be nice if we could just take this land, but I don't think it'll let us until we maybe siege something else down here. Now will it let us? No. Because it'd be nice to have these 20,000 troops over in... Um... Oh, congrats. You siege just a regular thing. You didn't even siege a... Uh... You didn't even siege a fort, but good job. Okay. Okay, these 44,000 aren't enjoying their stay there. We can chill down here, though. I mean, we can't separate peace out Aragon. It's just not possible. Right, because... The good news is, I think we have a fort wall here so that the AI shouldn't be able to walk up here. Where are our ships? Where's our nine heavies? We're building more. And the truth is, we probably need to uh, cool the brakes a little bit on the trade fleet. We have a bunch of ships that are saying it needs, we need to upgrade them. We're gonna, we're gonna let it, you know, we're gonna let it ride just, a, just a little bit here. That's good, because then we can get her at a super discount. Problem is, she can't, she isn't our culture, so we can't level her up. But she's really cheap. Having said, this is a trade person. Probably might, might even pay for themselves, right? How much are we getting in trade? 50 so we get five extra ducats if we go with this guy. Yeah, I think I think that's going to be where it's, where it's at here. Although that modifier improved relations is actually really, really good, as we've seen. Of course, our trade's probably going to go down a little bit because we're not protecting trade anymore. It didn't go down as much as it could have, though. Okay, so now... Now will you let us get that? Nope. Once we get the siege down, it'll be fine. So let's get our transports, actually, preemptively here. Over to the New World. It's a lot of ducats. And I can just lose a little bit. I get some trending in the right direction, right? It's totally fine for us. They're too influential right now to... Uh, just need to get this here. Yep, okay, cool. Wait, what? Oh, okay, I didn't realize this whole... I didn't realize this was all part of it. Let's gain the corruption. Don't want to lose army professionalism. We're France. We're going to keep that high. 99%, please. A few more months. How oh, annoying. All right, thank you. So we're working on culture converting this, right? Because the idea was maybe if we culture converted away from Dutch, then maybe... Oh, it's saying 1584. Maybe a company... I don't know if culture converting this is going to get them to go away or not. I'm not sure. Not sure. We could actually just try to... Oh, oh, wait a second, wait a second here. Yes, please, please intercept. Oh, don't, don't go that way. Oh no. Yep, oh, that's annoying.
Okay. And we gotta walk these guys through very safely. Also keeping an eye on this situation there. Good job. Good job. Okay, good. They're back. What are the Ottomans up to? Well, we got Aragon way over here. Presumably we got Hungary doing something, nothing, I don't know. Uh, I'd rather not fight that. There's no way they're going to let us take that. Our vassal's getting smoked. Brandenburg to the rescue. Let's keep making money. Why do we have 1,000 troops back here? Let's get them over here. Hungry, where did your troops go? You still have 25,000. Where are they at? Oh, they're here in Stockholm. Literally just snoozing. Okay. We walked that troop into a uh, stack of rebels and died. That was unfortunate. We're about to get two more heavies here, which will be good. Uh, we got Aragon down here, and we got Aragon over here. Do the Ottomans want access now? Okay, wait a second. Here's a way that we could wrap around that. We could give it to... No, they don't want it. Renata doesn't want military access. Neither does Tanis. That would give it to the Ottomans, because I'm worried that the Ottomans are having to do some really crazy stuff to get their guys over here. Ottomans, what are you doing? Well, we know that Aragon has 40,000 troops that are not in Aragon. Castile probably has 20,000 over here still. Who knows what else they're working on. Um, it would be cool if we could have called in the Papal State. That would have been a big difference, I think. But we'll be fine without them. This is going to be kind of a deal, like, not a deal breaker, but it's going to be a big, important war. Um, it'd be nice if Poland would just get out of the war here. But the thing is, they want these provinces, and we do not want them to have them. So we're just kind of holding, holding our ground here. Yeah, we probably only need 20,000 up here, kind of like sieging this and... No, 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 no. We're going to have to make people super happy in this area. Like, super happy. Does the HR... The HRE does believe this to be theirs, which is uh, kind of unfortunate. That would have actually been cool if uh, if the rebels had taken that. We would have been able to grab it. I don't really care which native likes us and which one doesn't. Okay. We're going to get rebellion over here, which kind of makes me want to leave the troops. That's all I'm thinking. But it's only going to be 8,000. Yeah, it's like if we could just get that converted to Catholic, it probably wouldn't be an issue, but... Get the morale for these heavies. We'll get them in a position to... One more month. We might need to actually roll a Admiral, too. No reason not to. Let's try again. I think that's going to be pretty good for us, actually.
Hmm. Portugal would grab this immediately, which is fine. Okay. How's the war coming for Spain here? Definitely winning. Bohemia's out of the war, though. So that means the Ottomans should be focused on getting to Castile proper. I mean, the Ottomans have a huge... Are they really that... Do they have that much of an inability to get where they need to go? Just, come on, I'm giving you military access over here. I could offer it to Castile or Aragon. Portugal's not even in the war. They're still probably trying to get troops down here for this, which is kind of silly of them, but it is what it is. It's just how the AI thinks. Let's, uh, let's get a ship out here. It's scouting. Whoops, we just lost a claim on a province that we want. Which means we need to declare soon. Our fleet's way more powerful. I don't know where the Castilian fleet is at the moment. I don't know where their troops are at the moment either. Although I'm thinking also, if we had... If they have troops over down here... Wait a second, if they have troops down here... And we take this, we would cut them off. That would be massive. That would actually be massive. So where's my transports? We're getting rid of uh, the rebellion over here. And we're going to... Uh, I don't know. We're going to lose claims, aren't we? We're going to be losing these claims. Four years before we lose that one. That one's permanent. Four years. Many years. Many years. Okay, we got time. We got time. So let's get these troops over here. We're going to drop them in our Portugal... Portuguese foothold. Denmark got that. That's actually kind of bad for us. Um, because now we're going to get more aggressive expansion when we take the land from Denmark. Although that hasn't quite updated yet. How did Denmark get it? Do they look like they're in a position to potentially like do anything? No. So what did we lose here? A diplomat. Eh, whatever. Advisor costs. So we're going to be losing more money. Technology costs. We don't need that, actually, in the immediate. It's that 20% aggressive expansion impact that we've really lost. That's that's the big deal there. Cost us 55 diplos, so we could get another idea group. We lost that extra leader slot, actually. We're gonna have to be keeping on our keeping on our toes with the um Yep, right down to here. I believe yep, we'll be able to march right up to eh, I don't know if we'll be able to march into Lisbon or not, but we'll be able to take this out very quickly. Actually we don't go to Lisbon, we go down here. Go down to we hold Gibraltar. In fact, Tunis is out of the war. Again, that doesn't help them against Granada, though, because that means that now they have to go and siege Ottomans, which is not going to happen. It's not going to happen. These rebel stacks are also getting pretty large. 
Okay. Let's go. Let's do it. I'm to rumble. Yep, that looks good. Let's do it, guys. This is uh, this is gonna be a big one. This is gonna be a big one. Another one of those multiple year war type situations going on here. Olin, you have everything you need. Now the cool thing is because we have kind hearted, we're actually still not gonna have, yeah, we don't have any war exhaustion, that's fine. Totally fine. Let's go. The only thing that would make me consider this would be, yeah, if, if Castile would join otherwise. No. That's a big fat no. We don't need him. The only annoying aspect is if we take this as the war goal, this is a fort. They're all forts. Let's go. Get a light ship over here. With the Admiral, get him over here. One day goes by, move that into there. Move into here. And we also got to get our troops moving down here. Go to Gibraltar and cut them off. The hilarious thing was we could actually de-siege Granada. Here, they're trying to get back. Wait a second. They're black flagged. They're black flagged. I don't know. They might be able to walk across regardless. That would be bad for us. That would be kind of bad for us. Okay, we are going to have to really micromanage this situation here. We could actually steal the colony. We could try to steal it. How many colonies are we working on right now? Oh, let's burn it. Take the capital there, why not? Okay, so I think, I don't know, once we get Gibraltar, these are black flagged is the only thing that I'm worried about here. <laughs> I'm trying to think, how would they, how would they get around? How would they get around? Oh, they have to walk through, oh, if they touch down here, they will not be black flagged. Meanwhile, do they even have much of a transport fleet? Still has 15... Transports. Looks like we lost one ship. I think we potentially siege down Granada. Just to kind of make it really like difficult on them. Or maybe we don't because they think that they're winning that war. Maybe we don't because they think they're winning that war. Maybe we have... Oh, Bohemia did decide to join. That's actually kind of unfortunate. Um, but I think as long as we control this, they can't get across. But now I'm not remembering exactly how it all works. Let's just go siege down. Let's, let's get Portugal completely sieged.
We have the war goal. Switch the leader to there. Those grouped up. Oh, okay, so... We could do this. We want... No, we want, we want admin. We actually have plenty of... Pull another general. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Better than whatever we else we had, I think. Although, what's the situation here? Here we have the five siege guy. Here we have a three siege guy. Where are the other siege guys? Where's this guy at? We have him over here. Yeah, that guy doesn't need to be there. Let's get him over to here. As such. Yeah, we just have a way more dominant navy, as, as long as we don't go into the Mediterranean. We have a much more dominant navy. Oh, they ended the war. Okay, so the war ended between the... Uh, it just literally ended. That's fine. We, we actually, like, completely do not care about that. Um, yep, we just need Poland to uh, end this, this war here. So again, we don't want Poland to grab these three pieces of land. If we end this war with Denmark, they'll just come in and resiege all this for free. Because there's no troops really that are defending any of this stuff. And um, it would be nice, don't get me wrong, it would be nice if... Um, it'd be really, really nice. What's I saying? Oh no, we just don't want Poland to get this land. That's the point. So we're just waiting. Eventually they will peace out. We're just kind of waiting for that moment. This has actually been a lot smoother than I was expecting. A lot smoother. Go for Toledo. That going to Catholic. Isn't Madrid supposed to be the capital? Why is Portugal black flagged? Okay. French Canada, let's go. Actually, you know what? That was probably a bad idea. Sort of. Not really a bad idea. Okay, so we do potentially have a rebellion up here. Who can we spare? When this guy's done sieging, we'll flip him over. Um, the 6 4. F okay, yeah, we'll. F once he's done, there we go. Flip him over to here. We'll fight the rebels. Hopefully we win because we're awesome in France. Okay, good. Now let's flip him back to here. Go and siege that. Castile now has a stack over here. Well, it's Portuguese and Castilian. Lots of people want military access, huh? Including someone that we're fighting against. 
There we go. We're done here. We're done here. So we need we need Hungary to take this out. We should we should have people naturally going over here to siege this. We need that done. Need that done. What's going on here? Table state doesn't like us. Border friction. Play a little bit of Diplo. Go away. Speaking of Papal State, actually, we probably could spend some time buttering them up. We haven't done this in a long time. They've just loved us because we're awesome. Now let's actually make uh, let's make Poland like us. Heck, <laughs> they'd ally us. It's nice when you're a powerful nation. Everybody wants to be your friend. That's just the way of it. All right, guys. I think we're going to take a pause here. This is definitely going to be a multiple episode war. Um, although it's going a lot faster than I was initially expecting. Quite a bit faster than I was initially expecting. Now let's move in now that we have 3,000 healthy there. Portuguese just kind of being annoying there and not really doing anything significant. Although we were trying to work on three of these colonies, so the fact that they've done that has stalled our growth a bit. No, nope, we're not going to be able to get over there. It's fine. What we should do is, once we get Lisboa, we should be able to just siege out Portugal pretty pretty easily. And just um, take a bunch of their overseas stuff, hopefully. We're not, of course, using the right uh, CB to take land from Portugal. It's going to be expensive, but that's okay. But thank you so much, everybody. I will see you guys in the next one.